Yes, it was so close to actually happening. Literally, the last two minutes of legal shooting life. Well, it's muzzleloading here in Arkansas. I gotta finish getting geared up. Came out here yesterday. We pulled all the cameras late last night. Um, we're just gonna have a challenge. I'll tell you guys more about it as I kind of get packed up. But I gotta finish getting all geared up here and get ready to get out there. So there you go. You can't trust the weather, man. It's uh, saying it's only gonna get a high of 78 today, which was supposed to be in the 80s as of what they were saying yesterday. And they were saying this morning we weren't supposed to get rain till maybe seven or eight o'clock and it might just be a scattered shower well it looks like it's been raining for about half an hour already and it's only 550 um, the struggle that we're going to have out here on this property right here in north central arkansas it's a large piece of property it is completely cattle run and there's really nothing for the deer to eat besides a lot of blackjack oaks around here scattered red oak and white oak a lot of fescue if the cows don't eat it and sage grass and that's it and the sage grass is like dried already um, we came out if you guys remember earlier this season and uh, actually early late this summer we came out we planted a bunch of food plots out here invested a lot of time and money in to plant these food plots we promised rain the day or two after we were promised rain multiple times throughout the summer and have literally got zero rain over the last two months out here until last Sunday, they got a little shower and uh, that was it. So all our food plots have completely done absolutely nothing. So they're back out to just, you know, baiting their camera sites and inventorying the bucks that way. And that's basically what we're going off of. I got the stands that I hung earlier this summer, they're already set up. I'm gonna go to one of them, hopefully this morning if the rain doesn't push me to do something else. Um, might be setting up on the ground, I don't know, but supposed to have good rain tomorrow so goal is if I don't see anything today I'm gonna get down scout around and uh, we'll see what we see so it's going to be a tough challenging hunt that's for sure it's already challenging anyway because it's all cattle run and the deer just so scattered and there's really nothing to really pattern them on but now without even the food plot screening up it's gonna be even tougher so we've got rain coming in it's the first rain that they've really had consistently and uh, over probably two months and we got a little cold front coming in behind it <clears throat> so hopefully that will kick the bucks in action get them cleaning out the scrapes and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of deer action today so don't know where I'm going yet it's raining it's not supposed to be but that's what's been going on all season so far I've still not seen a deer Winds picked up, starting to warm up. The rain's kind of moved out. But I'd like to find some really good spots to set up for this evening and uh, kind of find somewhere to put up a blind for tomorrow because if it rains, like they say it's going to, then I need a blind because it's going to be wet and raining for a while. So I've been looking and looking and looking this morning to find a place to put a blind. This is where I killed the nemesis buck a couple of years ago. And I found a couple of scrapes that are pretty new on this tree line. There's always scrapes up and down here. What I'm hoping for, if it's going to be a lot of rain tomorrow, that the bucks are going to get out and start working their scrapes and cleaning them back up. So around one of these trees here, either underneath this tree or up against these cedars here, I'm going to throw up a blind, kind of brush it in. I'll have a 60 yard shot or so, maybe 70 yard there. And I can also see this big bottom all the way around me here. So um, this just gives me another option if I can't be in the stand to go somewhere where I can stay nice and dry and hopefully see some deer. Blind is set up. It's camouflaged in as good as it's gonna get. You can see from any distance, the silhouette's really broken up in there. So I'm hoping that's gonna work, hopefully. Big old buck probably tomorrow when the rain comes in, comes through, making some scrapes. And that's concealed enough, it's gonna allow me to get a shot. So, we'll see what happens. At least we've got backup plans in case it rains.
back out for the evening hunt. These aren't gonna work. They're dryer sheets. Hold on. Now these will work. Nose jammer gear and rear wipes. Uh, not a whole lot of deer sign. I was hoping to find a bunch of scrapes. Got the blind set up for tomorrow in case it rains. So I'm gonna go back up into um, the stand where I was sitting this morning and hopefully have a uh, shooter buck come out. So the food plot looks terribly awful. And so I went ahead and uh, brought up some rye grass and um, some winter wheat and stuff and we reseeded it hoping that it'll get some kind of decent germination. There is some uh, from the rain that this morning that it is kind of germinating um, from the seed that we had just dormant in the ground from planting two months ago. So we'll just see what happens. It's So driving through the property right now, fixing to hit the bottom fields, and I'm going to drive all the way up to the blind. To be honest, I'm worried if I even have a blind there. Last night, our just possible thunderstorms turned into really good thunderstorms, and we had winds that were 60 miles an hour gusting at least. And so I did tie it down. But it's underneath the honey locust with a whole bunch of cedar branches on top of it. And in my mind, I'm thinking the worst. I'm thinking the wind came in, picked it up, shredded it on the honey locust tree, which, if you know, have huge thorns. And uh, there's pretty much nothing left. So we will find out. It's raining still. It's going to be raining for like half the day. And um, I'm going to sit in the blind or... Hopefully whatever's left of a blind, but hopefully this gets the bucks up and moving, but we gotta start with a blind first. Well, I made it back out to the blind as you can see. Spot and stalking was successful. I was able to spot and stalk up on a young deer and a mature doe. I don't think I've got the mature doe on video, uh, but she was just slipping through the cedars, uh, making her way right in front of me. It was really cool. If she would have had 
a set of antlers and match her body size. She would have been a big buck and I would have had her down. But um, back out, it's like 2.30 now. And as you can tell, the rain is uh, still falling, even though it wasn't supposed to originally. Deer are moving. Hopefully they'll be moving consistently throughout the whole evening. And uh, as we progress into the later evening, the winds are supposed to pretty much die out. And temperatures, like I said, have already hit a high. We're now at 57 and still falling. We're gonna bottom out in the mid 40s tonight. So coldest day, wettest day, two and a half months. There should be some deer action tonight or tomorrow. One of the two ought to be awesome. Alright guys, well, last evening hunt for this time around out here in north central Arkansas. Back in the blind, as you can tell, and I uh, got it really bushed in this time. I mean, I've got cedar branches all over this thing. I've got oak leaves all over it, and so it is tucked in here, ready to go. If I were hopefully to, you know, come back in the next few weekends to try to finish the deal if nothing happens tonight. Well, we got one of our camera sites right up here on this tree line and um, a buck showed up last night that I would definitely shoot. Show you here, I just took a screenshot of it. Let me see if we can touch it there. You can see him there. Great buck. Just a big 07 point and that's about as big as they come. Um, around here so um, hopefully this dude comes in tonight right before dark he was here about four hours after dark last night but uh, who knows it's a little bit warm today got a big uh, cool off coming tomorrow I think tomorrow's lows are gonna get down like 39 which is awesome so we'll see um, hopefully that buck comes in here tonight and before I head home for a four-hour drive I can put him in the back of the truck and take him home with me so We'll see. Hang in tight and uh, see what goes on. It's already been a fun weekend, seeing a lot of deer, just no shooter. I'd like to see a shooter.
Oh, it was so close to actually happening. Literally, the last two minutes of legal shooting light um, had the buck that I had an encounter with yesterday that had the broken main beam came in and he kept looking, he kept looking. I was watching that clock. One minute left to come. And here comes another buck. I'm like, all right, we got one minute left and he's a small eight. I don't even know if I got him on camera. Last minute, I thought it was going to happen. It was not meant to be. We had a blast out here. Saw a lot of deer. And uh, the pre-rut is just kicking in here. The weather's just finally starting to turn for the first time this year in uh, north central Arkansas. So dang it. Um, but I'm going to keep you guys up to date. No matter what's going on, send my live weekly hunts every single week on YouTube. So be sure to go subscribe. Make sure to click that bell notification. Give a thumbs up. Comment down below what you enjoyed about this hunt. Hope you guys are enjoying <laughs> real hunts. You don't always kill, but man, I have fun. So guys, until next time, have a better than average day. Won't you take a little